In the previous video, we looked at a tool called the Skills Map, which helps us map out what skills are going to be needed for what type of thing and what level of skill we're likely to need as well. So the levels we had there, the, the distance from action, were a trainee is really minimal skill. They're following rules and they're working at the point of action. An apprentice is focusing their attention away from the point of action because they're learning theory, they're learning rules. They're relatively, they're still low skill rather than, but they're low skill rather than minimal skill. They're not at the point of action when they're doing that part of the work. And as I said, they're following, following an extended rules, they're more theory than just rules. A journeyman is the next level up, has to be able to deal with higher levels of uncertainty, actually beyond the boundary of, of certainty. This is the first real level of skill as opposed to just simply rote learning. They are dealing with patterns and guidelines, those kind of areas, those kind of mild mid-level uncertainties, but they're still expecting to be supervised. And also they're not, while they're doing that, while they're learning, they're not at the point of action as opposed to a master who has to be able to deal with any level of uncertainty at the point of action. Now the learning sequence is actually the opposite of the classic science development sequence. In science we typically talk about idea, hypothesis, theory, law, but it's actually the opposite way round. A master is the one who's dealing with ideas, the, the uh, Journeyman is developing hypotheses, it's dealing with, with working out ideas, but not actually there, at the front of action. The, the, the apprentice is still working on the theory part, and the, 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 the uh, trainee is working only on rules, on law. Now there's a huge barrier that occurs between on the, on the one side, the, 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 the idea, sorry, the idea and the law, this fixed idea, it's often what we call the heresy, heresy barrier. So there's an issue there about the learning sequence is the opposite way around, which means we're going against the current all the time. All of the focus in conventional trainee type structures is to prevent people having new ideas. That's not, you know, check your brain in at the door was the famous description of Taylorism. That only the masters, who in this case actually were just the theory of the apprentices, were setting the rules. Now that gives us another important problem, because one of the huge dangers of the apprentice level is that it's now got just enough knowledge to understand, of how, just enough knowledge to get into serious trouble, but nothing like enough knowledge to be able to get out of it again. They also have a much stronger notion that because they are, be quotes, better than the trainee, therefore they know everything. Now personally I've often had people who've just done a, you know, a weekend workshop telling me that they know far more than anyone who's done it for 20 or 30 years. This is a classic apprentice mistake. We often get, in enterprise architecture, we often get people who've just done the five day TOGAF course telling people who've been doing it for 20 years that they don't know anything because they haven't done TOGAF. In my case, I literally rewrote TOGAF from scratch to make it work for whole enterprise architecture. And I still get people who tell me that I don't understand TOGAF because they've just done the training course, whereas I did it 10 years ago. So there is a very real problem where we have apprentices who have just enough trouble to get, just enough knowledge to get into trouble and nothing like enough to get out of it. So there's an issue there. There's a similar clash actually between the trainee and the uh, journeyman because the journeyman will do things that the apprentice doesn't, un the, sorry, that the, the trainee doesn't understand and they'll completely confuse the trainee. The, the other one is a very nasty little trap that when we compress time a lot we then have no time for apprentices or for journeymen. We've got no time for those that we don't allow people time to learn or to practice. There's no, the, for hyper efficiency, we've got to be just doing the job and nothing else. That gives us a culture or a context in which we only have a trainees on one hand and masters on the other and no means to get the, from the trainees to the master level. We can see this in a lot of organizations that are too production focused or have focused too much on efficiency at the, at the expense of actually being able to do the work. 
They work fine until the masters leave or retire. They work fine as long as there's no change, even when the master's gone. But as soon as there is any kind of change, they fall apart in a heap. So for enterprise architects and business architects, we need to be really careful to ensure that there is the means to learn the job. If that means is gone, then your business is incredibly fragile. So that's what we can get from looking at the skills map, is how much things have been compressed, what the learning processes are, as well as the skills mapping itself, mapping across from the different needs that we have. Thanks for watching. Do look at the YouTube description for links to further detail. And don't forget to subscribe for other videos and also to support us on Patreon to help us produce these videos and the tools themselves.